of the effects of the accumulation of greenhouse gases within the atmosphere aside from affecting the layer of the ozone uh, of the ozone uh, one of the known uh, phenomenon uh, which is greatly associated to these gases is global warming so what is global warming technically this is the um, increased average temperature of the earth so how does global warming being associated to the accumulation of greenhouse gases so technically this particular figure bakit siya tiniyawag na greenhouse gas it is because the effect of of um the light penetration and the increase in temperature or the effect of these greenhouse gases is the same with what with um a greenhouse okay, a typical greenhouse so kung mag, mag maiinitan or mas strike yung yung greenhouse ng solar radiation umiinit po siya sa loob and um hindi po nag escape yung temperature palabas, it's because of the structure of the greenhouse. Okay? So, yun po yung um, parang representation kung bakit siya tinawag na greenhouse gas or greenhouse effect. Kumbaga. So, for example, if there is over-accumulation of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which is from different sources, okay, fossil fuels, coal, oil, natural gases, which is being used by humans. So, these gases accumulate in the atmosphere, okay? So, when there is solar radiation, these particular gases form a, actually a um, parang, parang, parang shield or parang, parang barrier which prevents the escape of heat to, or reflection of heat towards the um, other layer of the atmosphere, towards the out, uh, um, outer space. So, yun yung reason kung bakit nagkakaroon ng tinatawag na global warming caused by greenhouse gases, particularly carbon dioxide. So, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyong greenhouse effect. So, kung meron po kayong sasakyan at nasa labas po with direct sunlight, mainit po sa loob pagpasok ninyo. Kasi, Yung init po, pumapasok dito, nag, na naa-absorb sa loob, and then it is because of this glass um, structure, hindi po nakaka-escape yung heat. So, naiipon po yung heat doon, heat energy. Okay? Ayan. Because of the absorption of solar radiation. Ganyan po. So, ang representation po nitong shield na to, for example, ito po yung nagkakos ng ano, ng global warming. Ito po yung greenhouse gases na tinatawag which is primarily associated to carbon dioxide. So, kung minsan, in some of the arguments na mapapakinggan ninyo is that global warming and climate change are somewhat related to each other. Pero ano bang pinagkaiba ng global warming sa climate change? So, global warming is the increase of average surface temperature due to build up of greenhouse gases in the temperature. However, if we say climate change, broader term refers to long-term changes in the climate, including average temperature and precipitation. So, kumbaga, the increase in temperature, which is actually global warming, is part of the climate change. However, climate change seems to be encompassing. It is because it includes the average temperature and we all know that temperature within the atmosphere is actually one of the contributing factor in the formation of climate, particularly in the distribution or the formation of precipitation. So, yun po ang pinagkaiba. Maski encompassing po si climate change as compared kay global warming. It is because kay global warming, it is only looking at one particular factor which is temperature. A climate po, nandiyan po yung temperature at the same time, precipitation. So, what are the effects of global warming? First, you have sea, le sea level rise. Okay, tumataas po mismo yung level ng tubig sa dagat. Bakit po? Kasi kung you will expect that kung may global warming, okay, we have the, the 
ice caps or polar caps nila sa North and South Pole. So, yun po ang um, pagmataas po ang temperature, you will expect them to matutunaw po yung gas na yun, or yung ice na yun. So, pag natunaw ang ice, magdadagdag po yan sa liquid water, okay, which will cause the sea level rise. Of course, you will expect na tataas din po ang temperature. So, pwede pong uh, affected lahat ng organisms dito. Yan. Or habitat damage and species affected. Yan. So, yung affected mismo ng sea level rise at the same time yung pagtaas ng temperature. Lahat po ng organisms ay pwedeng maapektuhan. Ito naman kasi sa habitat damage, pwede kasing yung buhos ng ulan or yung amount ng precipitation ay napakagrabe na. Okay? So, there would be surface waters, um, huge floods na pwedeng mangyari. And of course, changes in water supply. Yan. So, meron po tayong, um, for example, kahit ma magrabi yung precipitation, pero there are changes na pwede ding magkaroon ng drought. So, karoon din po ng change in water supply. So, what is the proof of global warming is taking place? Ano po yung ginagawa nila? So, this is a comparison of the accumulation of ice within Alaska in 1914 and 2004. Okay, so, it is very explainable kung saan na yun. This is ice way back before and now it is in liquid water. So, that is an, another one, you know, one, um, Evidence. Ito naman, itong river na to, okay, lumiit siya ng ganito, okay, so you will expect because of higher temperature, increased temperature, nagkaroon ngayon ng rapid evaporation. Kaya, unti-unting lumiliit yung amount ng water in this particular level. So why is global warming happening? Ba't nangyayari? Because of our dependence to fossil fuels. Lahat po yan. So, Kahit yung household natin na activities ay gumagamit ng fossil fuels sa transportation, sa electricity, generation of electricity, and of course, generation of um, raw materials needed by humans. So, as long as we are dependent on natural um, fossil fuels na nag i ng carbon dioxide, we cannot deny the fact that we are also contributing to the accumulation of carbon dioxide within the atmosphere. Kailan ba ito nagsimula? Okay? Kailan ba nagsimula ang global warming? So, um, they have found out or they have mapped the increase in um, concentration of carbon dioxide from 1870 to 2000. Medyo obsolete na nga ito. So, we'll expect na pataas pa rin ito ng pataas as of this moment. Okay? So, as we... we um, go into rapid urbanization and w rapid reliance to to um, fossil fuels, you will expect na pataas pa rin ng pataas yung concentration ng carbon dioxide. So, paano minimeasure? Paano ginagawa? You have ice core data in the measurement in Antarctica, for example. 